since you've been gone, and no, I'm not talking about Kelly Clarkson, I'm talking about you being gone, Mom. It has sucked every day. I want to call you, but I can't. I feel a horrible, tremendous guilt that I didn't make it in time to live with you and force you to go to doctors and start you on dialysis. Just a few days before you passed, we were talking about all the things we were going to do together when I moved back to Arkansas. I was so excited to finally get to spoil my mommy, and then you left. It was so sudden, and I found out while I was streaming playing Grand Theft Auto. Oh my god, hold on. Um, I'm sorry, uh, my, my mom passed away, so, um, um, I'm gonna have to end stream. I hope everybody has a good day. Brian and I had just talked to you a few days before. And it was so shocking that Brian's words to me about finding out his American grandmother passed was dead ass. Are you being dead ass right now? We had talked about your funeral for years. but We never really wrote down what you wanted and it changed over the years. You wanted to be buried at first and I found the contract you signed after Papa passed. And it was on the same day years later we went to pick out your urn. You loved your pastors, Vic, Reverend Hampton, and Britt, and many others. When you lost your memory that summer, the summer before, we watched the church service, and you could remember Jay. Mommy, who's that on the TV? Huh? Who's that on TV? Jay. What does he do? He's a preacher. Yeah. What church is that? Mom loved her church and everyone she interacted with. You wanted Dr. Hampton to preside over your funeral. However, we never had it. People ask me, when are we having a funeral or a memorial and why we haven't yet? I can't speak for my siblings, but I can speak for myself. You and I together and separately have sang at so many funerals. You wanted me to sing at yours, either the song Angels Among Us, which you know I cannot stand that song, or surely the presence, um, which is a super hard song, Mama. I can feel his mighty power and his grace. You picked them because they had angels in them. Anyone who knows you knows you were a big believer in the power of angels and the intercessory of saints. I know we did talk about me picking a song to sing that I liked. <laughs> However, I couldn't even imagine singing without crying at the time. And I can't imagine singing at a funeral without you. I also couldn't imagine within a week or a year of saying goodbye to you with other people. I realized during your death that I'm selfish because you're my mommy. And I didn't want to share my sorrow with other people. I think quietly as your children, we didn't think a funeral or a memorial was even enough for you. You deserved so much more. We wanted, well, I wanted to challenge people as you challenged us to be good and kind. I wanted them to do good things in your name, whether that was donating in your name to charities or going out and doing random acts of kindness. 
Even if you got on mom's nerves, she still loved you. If you were a friend of hers, you were a friend for life. And if you were younger than her, it was very possible that she considered you an adopted son or daughter to her, which is where I get my habit of wanting to adopt everyone and take care of them. I feel like there's not enough words to describe what an incredible mother I had. I watched her stand up for people who were different from us in every way. I watched her be the Christian that people wished all Christians acted like, and I strive to be as well. Even if she was angry, she would pray for you. Even if you hurt her, she would pray for you. We felt like we failed her as children, and in her journals, she would say what great kids she had and how much she loved us. I think for me, instead of an hour of listening to scripture, singing songs, and talking about my mom and how she impacted me, I would rather do what she did for me, and that is inspire people to do something for someone, whether it is donating money and goods to a charity she cared about, such as children with special needs, diabetes, cancer friends, Autism Speaks, Angel Tree, local schools, visiting an elderly neighbor and checking on them, prison education and fellowship. You name it, she had a heart for it. I think mom's legacy is to do better and be better. You all impacted her life, so impact others in her name. She wrote, In one of her journals, sometimes I forget to thank the people who make my life happy in so many ways. Sometimes I forget to tell them how much I really do appreciate them for being an important part of my life. So thank you, all of you, for just being here for me. I think that pretty much sums up my mom. I miss her every day. There's not a day that doesn't go by. That I don't think about her. So I think that if people did things in her name, that would make her happy. And she would be so proud of all of you. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. It sucks. But we're here. She's here with me. And I love all of you guys. Thanks. Bye.